Hey guys, I'm here with my projects for the Wild Bunch this week, and I've got a couple of things to share with you. Um, the first thing I'm going to share is a card, and then directly after that will be a another video I did on some favors that I did for my teammates at work. So I'll go ahead and share the card with you. And this is just a card that I made um, for my friend's baby shower, and she's of course having a girl, which is why it's all pink and purple. Um, and I just used some paper to make the card itself. I just cut a 6 by 12 sheet of paper and used my score pal to score it um, right in the middle um, to fold. So then, of course, I decorated it with tons of gorgeous wild orchid craft flowers. I've got a lot. The mums here, I love these, and this is one of my favorite sets of flowers I just got, and it's the mixed color chrysanthemums. And I'll put all these codes below as well, so you can reference them easily. I also used one of these handmade beaded flowers in ivory, so I've always used them in white, and this is the first time I've used the ivory one. So pretty. I used a few itty bitty open roses here from the um, mixed color pack that I just got. I used a couple of the Pink Mist Cottage Roses from this pack here. And what else? Let's see, I've got some poppies that I used. And these are the pale pink poppy flowers. I used some more of these beautiful stems. I love them so much and they come in all sorts of colors. And I also used a few, and I don't have the package anymore, and I actually, I thought I was completely out. I had to scrounge in my drawers, but I found like five itty bitty rose buds I had left to use for this card. So I'll put the product code below. I don't have um, the bag to show you. Um, oh, and I have some um, lilac open roses, which is from that same open rose pack as well. So I just put them together and made a few flower clusters here, and it really turned um, a simple card into something really, really beautiful. Um, from all these gorgeous flowers. So stay tuned. The video following right after this is my um, favor boxes for my teammates and I decided just to put the two things together since they're both really small projects. Um, thanks guys so much for watching. Hi guys, I'm here with my project for the week for the Wild Bunch and I decided to make some little treat boxes for some of my coworkers. Um, I'm the team leader at school and there are four other ladies on my team so I thought it would just be nice to have something on their desk for when they get back in a couple of weeks. And I got this idea from Leone. She made some favor boxes a couple weeks ago, and I thought the idea was so cute, but she handmade all of her boxes. I just bought the, um, the templates from a local craft store, and I started by um, covering them with paper. I just measured using a ruler and then cut it the correct size. And then this, I had to put the paper behind it and trace it to get the correct size lines. And I just used some paper I had in my stash, and my school colors are blue and yellow, so I tried to use, you know, teals and blues and yellows in this. Um, and I got these cute little wooden rulers from a craft store, a local craft store as well. Um, but really, what makes this is the flower cluster, which has the gorgeous flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I used the yellow open roses and the 15 millimeter, which are right here. I also used some of the mixed curly wild roses, and I have a blue color that's gone now because I used it but that's this one here. I also used some poppies, which I'm almost out of now. I'll have to buy some more, but they're so cute. I love how they just add a little something, and I love the black centers. So cute. And then I used some of these, um, the mixed Gypsophilia again. Um, I used the yellow and blue, of course. And then this is just a sentiment I printed on my computer because I'm going to fill the boxes with candy, so it just says it's going to be a sweet year, and I'm just going to put some candy inside and stuff, and um, hopefully they'll like it. And like I said, it's just a little treat box to go on their desk. We're allowed to go in our classrooms next Friday to start setting up, but most teachers won't come back for about two more weeks. Um, so I figured it would just be nice to at least have something a little fun when they have to come back from summer break. Um, but that's it. And, you know, it's just using these flowers just turns a really simple project into something really fantastic. Um, so easy to do. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll put all the product codes below. Bye.